Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing part two of Friday's After Dark Clean With Me. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything from cleaning, cooking, organizing, gift wrapping with gift ideas, and just getting everything ready for the holidays. I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys my stocking stuffers. So if you guys are extremely last minute, because as you guys are watching this, it is the 23rd, just a couple days before Christmas. If you guys still need some ideas, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and I am a mom to four kids. So the holidays is definitely a really hectic, busy time, but we have a lot of fun and enjoyment as well. So I want to share with you guys what I do leading up to the holidays to make it a little bit easier for me. I will share with you guys some recipes as well. And so that you guys know a lot of the things that you see in this video, I will have linked down below in the description box. If you guys are interested in something that is not linked in the description box, uh, just shoot me a comment so I can let you know where I've gotten it and all of that. Anyways, without further ado, let's dive in. Morning, no one but we are we look out the window as it's starting to snow. This recipe is super easy and quick. It makes a huge batch. I always fill up my crock pot right to the top just so that I can freeze some. We can have some for some quick, easy meals as well. Like I said, I will link this recipe down below in case you guys want to check it out, but it's super easy. You can tweak it with the spices that you want and make any kind of adjustments that you and your family like as well. It's also pretty fairly inexpensive to do something like this. So that's amazing. Like I was saying, during the holidays, we're so busy, so having already cooked meals like this is just gonna make my life a ton easier leading up to the holidays. If you guys are interested in quick, healthy family meals, I am gonna start a series on my channel in January where I'm gonna share with you guys like five crock pot, uh, meals like dump and go meals. I'm also going to do five instant pot meals and then maybe like a stove top or an oven uh, dish as well. I love cooking dinners that are like this because number one, it's easier. Number two, it's not a lot of work and there's not a lot of dishes either because everything gets cooked into one pot. Now that I have my soup on the go and that's gonna go for several hours before dinner time, I'm gonna go in and clean the inside of my fridge. I don't know what happens. Every time we do groceries, our fridge ends up looking like a jumble and jamble of all kinds of stuff all over the place. And this is how we waste a lot of food. When you don't know where things are, where things aren't placed where they need to be placed, um, and then the fridge, it gets dirty and all of that. You guys probably see me cleaning my fridge quite often here. I do it every time I do groceries typically, but th this time of year we have been so, so busy. So again, same thing as last week. I wanna go ahead and clean those areas because when we are hosting, if someone's putting bottles of wine in the fridge or drinks or they're uh, helping serve food and they're bringing some food over or they just wanna serve themselves to something, you don't want them opening your fridge and having it be gross and dirty and disgusting and having stuff all over the place. Worry about the weather Waiting for snow And each day I feel better And my hope begins to grow Been staring out my window 
now that I've got quite a bit of cleaning and some organizing done, I'm gonna go ahead and shred my chicken. As you guys saw, I tried to do it with a two forks, but it's a lot quicker to just throw them into your mixer and shred it that way. I learned this a few, like not even that long ago. Why haven't I done this before? It shreds so, so quickly, and it's the exact consistency and kind of texture that you would want it to be. There's a feeling I remember From the time when I was young On the last at this point, my soup is still cooking away and the babies are down for a nap. My husband is actually working on our fireplace mantle right now. So I'm just gonna sit down at the kitchen table and get some wrapping done. These are the final things that I have left to wrap um, for this Christmas, this holiday season, at least for my kids. Anything, any kind of party before Christmas day, everything is here, everything is almost ready. So I'm super excited. Like I'm filming this on um, Thursday, what day was that? So Thursday, December 19th, and all of my wrapping is done, which is amazing. In previous years, I was getting my wrapping done on like Christmas Eve at 11 o'clock at night, and then the kids were just destroying it the next day, so I was like, oh my god, they're not wrapped long enough. Um, but I mean, this is good. I'm just happy. I'm trying to have a little bit of a less stressful Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Since we're so busy, I really want it to be about our family and the kids. So I'm trying to get all of the necessities done beforehand. So I'm really liking this gift wrap. I had this one last year too. They're like the ginormous rolls from Costco. They're also double-sided. So they're like similar style and color, but you can change them aside. So you get like two paper in one, which is amazing. So we do like one color from us and then we do one color from Santa as well. When gift giving, Santa will give the stockings with a lot of necessities and things like that. And he also brings one bigger gift and then a few smaller gifts. And then mom and dad also give one of the bigger gifts as well. And then we also give some smaller items or smaller valued items, I guess I would say. They typically get about eight gifts each, but not all of them are super expensive. When buying gifts, we also try and be pretty practical with things they're gonna use. So my eldest sons are getting like new hockey sticks, new hockey sweatshirts, um, some Beats headphones that I got on a Black Friday sale. They're also getting some crafting items like that discovery kit I got from Costco uh, where they can do like some mining and stuff like that and find dinosaur bones and then build something with that. Lots of Lego, clothes items. Uh, they're also like their fun toy is a remote control car. So they're getting a lot of things, but a lot of them are cheaper. And then my little ones, my daughter and son, I got these personalized books from a website online. I'll link them down below if I can remember their name. But yeah, they're getting these personalized books, which are super cute. And then they're also getting, like my son's getting a few Paw Patrol things. He's getting lots of arts and crafts stuff, some Play-Doh, because we like to do a lot of that stuff. And then he's getting um, a train, like a wooden train table set because he's really liking trains right now as his big gift. And they're both getting that like step two little roller coaster thingy. Like I said, anything I mention or show in this video, I will do my best to link most of them down below because there's just so many items. But again, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And then as for my daughter, she got this ball pit. I actually saw it on Emily Norris's um, YouTube channel years ago. She had it for her baby, who's a toddler now, but it was amazing. It's really nice. It's gray. It's not this big flashy color. And I also got some nice balls to put inside. So I know that the babies are going to like that. And then I also got her a little jewelry box because as she's a little girl, she's going to get bows and jewelry. So I think I just got a little bit more practical with her because she, she doesn't need a ton of toys because she already has all of her brother's toys and she doesn't have any specific interest right now. Me and you and everyone We would run around the big house where your cousins used to live And we do lots of things I know our folks would not forgive Could wash my hands, but still
take it out I can show you guys what I ended up getting my little ones so I got this outfit for my daughter I sized up in it um, I think it was on like the Christmas clearance but it's not overly Christmassy it is red but it'll still be fine for the spring and it was $26 and I got it $12.99 plus 20% off so about $10 which is great this one too was also on sale I really like this one she had it in a smaller size it's just really nice and neat oh she has a teal one right now too um, it's just really nice to throw over any kind of outfit. I really like the button details on here. Um, yeah. And then I also got her a few little bath toys because she's really playing in the bath now with her brother. So she's got this little old ball one. I rave about old ball. I love them. There are some little mushies, which I talked about in my six to nine month must haves. These are amazing. I also got her a little nook sippy cup. She's not even drinking water yet as per our pediatrician's recommendations because she is breastfed. But she'll be having some water with meals soon. I also got a few other bath toys. I like these toys because they're nice and soft. But I do like to plug the holes so that water doesn't get inside of them. And then finally I just got these organic apple rice rusks which I also talked about. Um, these are really easy for small babies to eat. Moving on to my two year old toddlers. Now, moving on to my toddlers, he has a little bit more stuff, but I mean, she won't mind. I just got this t-shirt, like long sleeve t-shirt. He loves dinos. This was $5.99 on sale for $3, so it's perfect. This, which I mean, he's not going to use. Um, I also got this doll kids, which is not typically what he uses, but I got it and he might use it. I also got this little Paw Patrol ornament that has little new gummies inside. Got three packs of socks because these were all like the Christmas clearance. Uh, but I mean, they're socks, and uh, he's notorious for losing his socks, as for all of my children, so that will be good. Got him this cute little um, dinosaur thing that grows a dinosaur when you put it in water, so he might like that. I also got him this little book for the bath. He loves Paw Patrol. I got him this little spinning brush, too. We all have Oral-B electric toothbrushes, except for him. Probably not going to use that, because we use Tom's or Burt's Bees, uh, but the toothbrush will be perfect. I also got this Boone water bugs because again, the little ones needed bath toys. I don't know if you guys saw a few of my cleaning videos ago. I had to throw out a lot of their toys because they were just gross. So bath toys. I also got some little mitten clips and then finally he got these little bath crayons. I mean a lot of these things him and my daughter will play with together but he's older so I just threw it all in his stocking. And I got some stuff for my older kids too. They have a little bit more goodies because I mean they're 8 and 10 and they like goodies. So they got some chocolate, some candy. I also got these uh, pencils so that they can use to do their homework at home, um, some shampoo, body wash, little snacks, package of gum for my eldest because he loves it, it's a super good treat for him, and then these come out at Christmas time and they're amazing, and he's also been asking me for a comb because he has longer hair, so I got him a comb, probably won't use this one, but it came in a two pack, so it's pretty much what I got them, I'm going, like I said, I'm going to have to add a few things in here, but the babies are pretty much good with that. And instead of using their small stockings to put all of their little stocking things in it, we just got these great big bags. I think I got these from the dollar store a couple years ago, and I haven't gotten their names personalized on them yet, so I'll have to try and find a way to put their names on it for this year. But hopefully next year, I can be a little bit more organized and actually get their names put onto it.
So we're actually going to a party this evening, a potluck, and it's our responsibility to bring some juices, some waters, as well as some meatballs. So I want to go right ahead and get all of those organized as well. While the babies are still napping, this is a prime time for me to get anything done that needs to be done. My husband and I are always joking that like we can't sit down during nap time. People are like, oh, sit down, relax while the babies nap. And I'm like, no, there's always something to do. So cooking, cleaning, organizing, gift wrapping, it's all things that are a lot easier done when the little ones are asleep and then I'm not too tired. When I did that after dark clean with me, I was so exhausted after and then the next day I was really tired because my daughter was teething and she got her second flu shot as well. So she was up and cranky. So mama was tired, that's for sure. <music> had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone so moving on i'm kind of losing my train of thought of all the things that i'm missing and i really don't want to forget anyone for christmas or any kind of food items that we need to pick up since we are having a Christmas Eve party where we're bringing things there, we're also hosting Christmas dinner. We have always like a special Christmas breakfast with the kids as well. We might have some mimosas. So I want to make sure that I'm writing down a list of items that I need to pick up before the end of the weekend. And I also want to write down any little gift items that I might be forgetting or anything like that. It's always nice to bring hostess gifts. I always like to do gift cards for people too. So I want to go ahead and write that list so that I don't forget. Most of the time I write the list in my cell phone, but I'm like, that's just too easy to lose. I wanted to write it down on paper and just make sure I had everything squared away. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. So when filming these videos, you guys actually don't see everything that people do because I don't share with you guys my whole day. What you guys don't know is I actually did four loads of laundry today. Yes, I know I showed you guys laundry in Friday's video too. There's always a lot of laundry. I did my bed linens as well. I also did all of our towels. I did my son and my daughter's bed sheets. So, I mean, there was a lot of laundry. So I got all that done this morning, but now it's time to get it all folded and put away. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. to my dresser area as you guys can see there's just so many things here there's things for christmas eve christmas morning all the kids clothes a lot of clutter a few gifts for some family members and then things that just needs to get sorted my desk my dresser has also gotten pretty messy and dirty from little fingerprints as well as the makeup so i'm just gonna go ahead and give that a quick wipe down i'm obviously gonna clean a little bit before i host on christmas but I want to make sure that all of this is nice and clean so I'm not super overwhelmed on Christmas Day. So I've got all their clothes back on the bed. So I have some jammies for the baby. I also have matching jammies for Easton. The older boys also have these jammies, but they're in the wash right now. Um, they have it in the two-piece. Then I have Easton's jeans with his little boxers. He also has this little knit sweater he's going to wear for Christmas Eve. So we've got that got his boots on there, his socks too. And then for Everly, she has this little red dress with the matching red bloomers. She also has her little gold shoes. So I'm missing a bow and I'm also missing, um, uh, not leggings, but like nylons or tights. Um, realizing all of her white tights are kind of dirty and gross and they need to be replaced. So I'm going to go out uh, later on today and get her some leggings or some tights for that. Also need to get her her red bow or her gold bow. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. And then spare outfit because if you guys have babies, you guys know, it's always mess and spin up and whatever. So I just have to iron out this tool a little bit. That's a random sock. 
And then for Alex, he has his jeans as well, his underwear, so he's missing a shirt, and then I'm missing Aiden's outfit too. So, I've got to make a list real quick. All right, guys, so that sums up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas wherever you are. And I will see you guys on Friday for the Christmas vlog. Bye, guys.